What's going on guys? Welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV and not the ideal result for Arsenal tonight. Our first goalless draw of the season and um, a pretty poor performance from both Arsenal and Chelsea. This was a kind of really, really flat game from both sides. Um, you could kind of tell from the first whistle that this wasn't going to be a really exciting game. Certainly not one that was comparable to our game last week against Manchester City. It's, uh, it, it wasn't going to be one that was full of goals. Chelsea actually looked like they were going rather defensive with this one, playing the likes of Lampard, Ramirez and John Obi Mikel. But I think there were a lot of things that went wrong with today's performance, especially for Arsenal. Um, not meaning to say that in a biased way, but I think there was an awful lot that didn't really go in our favour today. And one of those things, going to kick it off, Mike Dean was absolutely appalling today. Some of his decisions were, were kind of laughable at times. There were times... Um, in both, in both halves, really. Players such as Mikel, he could have quite easily been sent off. The same goes for uh, Ramirez. He could have been sent off. He only got a yellow uh, for quite a dirty challenge on Mikel Arteta. Um, and another player who I, who really surprised me, didn't even get a yellow card. Frank Lampard made three or four really poor tackles. Didn't even get in the book. And Mike Dean just slowed the game down so much. Didn't allow us to play our quality, quick pace football because it was stop, start, stop, start every five, ten minutes and it was boring. He was making it so, so flat. And I can't stand referees to do that because it was tiny little things as well, like the, the tiniest shirt pull or something. And uh, the penalty decision on Walcott, that was a stonewall penalty. Willian bringing down Walcott in a penalty area, didn't even touch the ball, yet Mike Dean doesn't give anything. He's such a poor referee, such an, uh, he's an embarrassment to officials of England. It's, uh, it's absolutely appalling by him, really. But um, the game itself, I mean, the first half was dire, absolute dire from both teams. Arsenal lacked so much creativity, especially, which surprises me, when we've got Ozil on the pitch, Walcott on the pitch, Riziki on the pitch, and I think actually including Rizitski ahead of Kozola was an incredibly sensible move by Wenger for this one. Kozola, of course, hasn't been playing great since he's come back from his injury. Rosicki relishes playing in these big games, and he played all right today. But he kind of he runs around a bit like a dog at times on that left hand side. And I find with him as well with Walcott that they're wingers and they drift into the middle, leaving us exposed on um, the right and left hand side. And that's something that's really got to be dealt with. And Rosicki, he's not really a winger. He's he's a central midfielder. Uh, Walcott is something he has to work on. Walcott massively has to work on his tracking back because that's something he's not doing at the moment. Um, but, you know, it's, it overall it wasn't a great performance from Arsenal today. Ramsey, another one that didn't turn up today. But one positive I do want to take, Vermaelen was exceptional today. I thought he had a really good game. Didn't put a foot wrong. Same goes for Mertzak, the same goes for Gibbs, same goes for Sanya. There was nothing wrong with the defence today. Uh, Chesney, at times when he was tested, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the defence. But Chelsea... I, it kind of infuriated me in a way today. The way they sat back and didn't even try to get a goal against us. I mean, they sat back for a good 80 minutes of that game. I mean, there, were, there was a spell of about 10 minutes in that second half where they really turned the game around and they were putting mounts of pressure on us. But after about 10 minutes, they were happy for the draw. And that's what annoys me because football, the aim is to get the win. And you, you shouldn't go into a game hoping for a draw. That's what infuriates me so much about Chelsea. But to be fair, they defended well and, you know, we didn't get a shot on target. But I think when you play 11 men behind the ball for a good majority of that game, then, you know, any team could do that. West Brom could do that. Norwich could do it. I would expect it from teams like that to go for a point, but not from Chelsea. Not a team that is competing for the Premier League title. And I don't see it as a point game tonight. Chelsea will because they were really seeing out this one. And I thought we were the better team for the whole game. And honestly, I see it as two points lost because we had the capabilities to win, especially in that second half from Olivier Giroud. And my word, he was so, so, so poor today. He really, really, really has to step up to the plate. Um, I mean, his chance that he squandered was absolutely abysmal. It was a great ball in by Ramsey. It was probably the best chance of that second half. Uh, one of the best chances of the game by the Lampard effort on goal. But um, he just scuffed it to not even challenge the keeper. He's pathetic. He's got to be doing something there. But, I mean, you know, the weather conditions weren't in our favour. That probably had something to do with it. But these are highly paid professionals, and I do expect more from them at times. Mosa um, Ozu, I think a lot of people were criticising him today. I thought he put in a much better performance than he did against City. He looked more involved in the game. 
Uh, and relating back to that thing of Mike Dean, the little scuffle between Ozil and Ivanovic, I think it was, <laughs> why did he do nothing about that? That, that annoyed me a lot as well. I mean, you've got Ozil and Ivanovic having this argument, and Mike Dean just watching it. You know, get involved! You're the referee, you're not watching over the game. You're meant to stop these kind of things happening. And then the yellow card for Rosicki and the yellow card for Walcott was <laughs> ridiculous. It's, it's laughable. Mike Dean is such a poor referee, but, um, you know, there's not much else to say about this game. I mean, it was a miserable game on a Monday night. Uh, but, you, you know, we are second on goal difference, so it's it's not that bad. I mean, we could have won today, we had the opportunity to do it, but if you look at who Liverpool have got to play next, they've got to play City at the Etihad, and they've got to play Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And we've got West Ham and Newcastle away, in my eyes, two winnable games, so there's no reason why we can't be back on top of the Premier League table on Boxing Day, and I'm confident we can do that. It's just, uh, I think it was a bit of a disappointing game today, I'm sure you'll all agree with me in that one. I did expect more from Chelsea, to be honest, and I... You know, um, just another thing, Mourinho's comment after the game, I mean, the, the guy's a professional saying that Arsenal were expected to cry or whatever. I mean, some of those challenges they made were absolutely appalling, and it kind of just encourages his players to do that again. He's a highly paid professional. I don't expect it from a guy like that. To be honest, he needs to act his age, because that's just not, not on, really. You wouldn't get someone like Arsene Wenger doing that. It's a bit classless, really. But, um, yeah, they're my, they've been my thoughts on the game. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think Arsenal should have done better? Did you expect more from Chelsea? I certainly did. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, it would be great if you click the like button. Subscribe for more videos and have a Merry Christmas, guys.